Today, Simply Sarah and I are doing a dessert collaboration. She's making peach and cherry kafuti, so be sure to stop by her channel to check out what she's making. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Laz Mixed Berry Buckle. You'll be able to find the full recipe throughout the entire video. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and also leave me a comment. And please, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at Cooking with Tovia, and on Instagram at Tovia Gartenberg. So let's go ahead and start the recipe. You'll be able to find the full list of ingredients in the description box below. So let's start with making the streusel. So I have here a half a cup of all-purpose flour, one third cup of granulated sugar, and a pinch of salt, and I'm going to add two teaspoons of cinnamon. Get this a quick mix together. And then I got four tablespoons of butter. It's at room temperature. I'm just gonna mash this together with the flour. This flour mix, which is keep mashing it in until it becomes crumbly. And this is what's gonna go on top of our buckle. Okay, so we're at the point where we want it to be. Nice big crumbles. Set it aside. Here in the bowl, I have two cups of sifted all-purpose flour. Have a teaspoon of salt. If you're using salt to butter, leave the salt out. Two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm sifting the baking powder because I don't want any clumps of baking powder in my cake. Set it aside. Three quarter cup of granulated sugar. I'm going to add to this four tablespoons of unsalted butter that's at room temperature. You don't want your butter to be sopping. Uh, you don't want it to just be just soft. You don't want it to be like runny. Oh, and uh, one egg. We're going to beat this until it's a uh, little incorporated. Typically, you'll see recipes that says cream the butter and sugar together, but this one, you can cream all three together. So it's creamed together now. I'm going to add to this a couple of teaspoons of vanilla extract. This will make sense. So now we're going to begin by combining the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. This is the uh, opera flour and salt baking powder. Let's mix that together. So what I'm going to do is add a third of the flour mixture. And I'm going to start on low. As soon as you see the flour dissolve, turn your, mix, turn your mixer off. I'm going to add half of the buttermilk. This is a half a cup of um, buttermilk. So room temperature. And then I'm going to add to this... Uh, Teaspoon of cream cheese emulsion. If you can't find it, leave it out. But if you can find cream cheese extract, you can put it in. Just a teaspoon, not a lot. 
Did I mix this? It's dissolved. Scrape down the side of your bowl. I'm going to add half of the remaining flour. Mix until you see the flour dissolve. Turn it off. Gonna add the remaining buttermilk here. Gonna add the remaining flour. The reason why we start with the dry and with the dry is because you don't want the flour to weigh your batter down. Mix until it dissolves. So we can see all the flour disappear. There we have it. Okay. Now we're going to remove the beaters. Going to clean them off. You can give the beaters to your kids if you want. I wouldn't recommend it because there's raw egg in this, but you should do that back in the day. Those were the days back in the 80s and 90s. Okay. I have here two cups of um, mixed berries and this is a uh, frozen mixed berries that I have here strawberry raspberry blackberry and I drain most of the juice off of it I'm gonna add this to the batter and to fold it in Just until everything is combined. Then I have a nine inch round cake tin here that I sprayed and did dust the inside with some flour also. Flour just helps keep it from sticking when you spray it. My oven is preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to pour the batter in. And then we're going to sprinkle the top with the streusel topping that we made um, before we started the batter. Beautiful. Typically this is served with coffee in the morning, but this is summertime. We're going to break the rules. We're going to serve it with ice cream. And I have some fresh strawberries that we'll garnish with. So sprinkle the streusel topping, crumble, or whatever you want to call it across the top. going to send the cake off to a great adventure 35 to 45 minutes it's been 51 minutes and um, I'm going to take a knife and see it came out clean it's going to be a little bit moist because there's fruit in here but it's done so I'm going to let this cool completely and then we're going to cut into it okay so the next step is um I got it. We got to get the buckle out the pan. It's then 10 minutes. It's still pretty hot. So I'm going to take a butter knife and just go around the whole outside edge of the pan. Should be pretty easy to do. Just keep your knife to the edge so you won't dig into the cake. And I'm going to pre warn you that it's going to be kind of loose, possibly because there, this is, you know, fruit. So, I have here another 9 inch cake pan, and I'm going to put parchment paper on top. This is to prevent the crumble, the streusel from uh, messing up. Just lightly press down. I'm going to lift the, lift the cake pan up. Okay, I'm going to flip it upside down. And it should just come off with no problem. 
voila, look at that. Really nice. Have a wire rack here. Then place it on top. Gonna pull the pan, catch the pan, hand in the middle of the pan. Gonna turn it. Keep your hand. Try to be careful and not burn your hand. And then just carry it by the rack, place it on the counter. And then you pull your streusel out perfectly with no problems. This looks absolutely gorgeous. So um, I'm going to let this finish cooling off for another hour or so. And um, we're going to cut into it so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to cut the cake. I'm just going to eyeball it. I got a chopstick here as a guide. I'm just kind of mark it. And there's wax paper on the bottom, so it should just lift right off the wax paper. And it did. Look at the inside of that. The fruit. So I'm going to um, garnish this and I'll let you guys see what it looks like in better light. Okay guys, my ice cream is melting but it's because I had to photograph this and I'm out in the heat. But I garnished this with strawberry ice cream on top with the chocolate mint leaf that I cut from my garden. But look at the berries. You can see all the berries on the inside. The strawberries, the blackberries, the raspberries. The streusel crumble on top. I want you guys to get a better view. I hope this is clear enough. But this is the Laz Mixed Berry Buckle. Let's try it. This is delicious. Moist buttery just it's really delicious it's almost like having a cobbler but better and I hope you guys try this recipe and enjoy it and just remember to live and be well send love for food let's do what we can to stop all bullying and abuse and don't forget to stop by Sarah's channel and check out her video